we're at a very unique spot in Wisconsin's history. We've never had a surplus like this. We've never had an instance where we've been overtaxing our taxpayers by this amount. A lot of it's being caused by you know inflation and the federal money being poured into the state government over the last three years, or into local governments uh, and schools and counties and things like that, sort of jumping up that inflation. And uh, but we we have a, a chance to really make a difference, to make Wisconsin more competitive, and uh, and also invest in core priorities at the same time. So I'm I'm hoping the governor's willing to work with us so we can make. Uh, he, as was mentioned before, he signed our last tax cut, which we weren't certain that he was going to do, but it'd be more beneficial this time if, if he works with us going throughout the budget process so we know what he's, he's willing to do, and uh, that, that way we can work to find solutions that, that our caucus can get behind and that he can get behind. I would rather focus on areas where we could really find that common ground cutting taxes for everybody, ensuring that we have enough funding for our schools, making sure we can find a way in the future to pay for roads. How do we get people back to work? Those should not instantly be topics where you have this bright line drawn between the two sides, but really the tone has to be set by the governor. My hope is he follows more of a game plan that Jim Doyle had, where if you go back and look at him uh, and his, the way that he did it, they did not introduce a whole lot of hot button items. They tried to say what could legitimately pass through a Republican legislature, and then they negotiated from the middle. Um, I think if Governor Evers continues to be from the far, far left, we're going to have the same next four years that we've had the last four years, and that's not my goal.